This is Dr. Phil Chavez. The King of Scotland, Robert the Bruce, reigned from 1306 until his death in 1329. Now, one of the most renowned warriors of his generation, Robert led Scotland during the first war of independence against England. In the movie Braveheart, which we all know and love, he was anything but a celebrated warrior. He was the guy who always folded, continually caving in to his desires for power and land. Now, one of my favorite scenes after William Wallace was victorious at Stirling Bridge, he appears with his key men before a knighting ceremony. The nobles surround them. Upon knighting, Wallace becomes commander of the army of the Kingdom of Scotland. Now, right after, the nobles argue over who holds the title to the throne. Finally, it's between Robert the Bruce and John Baileus. As regards Wallace, the nobles promote him, yet they resent his influence. Ultimately, they're only interested in themselves and use Wallace to their own ends. So he tells them, there is a difference between us. You think the people of this country exist to provide you with position. Yet I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom. And I go to make sure they have it. So disgusted, Wallace with his men leave the room. He's, Wallace is only concerned with Scotland. And the fight yet is not over. The English lost a major battle, but not the war. Now, Bruce, he's impressed with Wallace and calls Wallace aside. He talked to him about the risks the nobles are taking and that Wallace should work with them for their support. Robert the Bruce claims, we need the nobles. And Wallace replies, nobles, what is noble? Men don't follow titles, they follow courage. The nobles know you, the people respect you. If you would just lead them to freedom, they would follow you, and so would I. Wallace walks away and the seed is planted with Robert the Bruce. He taps in the deep desire of a man, the summons to leadership. Brothers, men need to be called forth, even the highest noble. Wallace continues leading the Scottish forces to many victories, but they take a hard hit at the Battle of Falkirk. Later, Wallace is betrayed, imprisoned, and brutally executed. But in the final scene of Braveheart, inspired by Wallace's sacrifices, the Scotsmen resume the fight for freedom at the Battle of Bannockburn. Robert the Bruce, already crowned, is now determined to lead the Scots into battle. You have bled with Wallace, he says, now bleed with me. After fighting June 23rd and 24th, 1314, the Scots take the field and their freedom is won. Brothers, where are leaders like this today? Those willing to risk everything? Who's leading the charge? Who will you call out to the battlefield? Men everywhere are waiting for your summons. If you would just lead them to freedom, they would follow you, and so would I. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.